All right, so VWeb 3.0 is here. I am in a cafe, but this update was too good for me to wait. So I thought I just go ahead and make this raw video uh, because there are a lot of things new to VWeb. A lot of things I like. There are some things I don't like. I want to explore everything. All right. First of all, kudos to VWeb team because they have been at work, like hard work, for the past three, four months, I guess, um, because with this new ai rush we've seen a lot of app builders being pushed into the marketplace most of them are not even good and honestly i'm not even a fan of this one click app builders because you might be able to build a prototype but what next what's going to happen after that you want to develop it you still need developers and if you want to change something you prompt the ai and ai goes crazy it's like I mean, in paper and in YouTube videos, it might look great, but as soon as you want to build a product that you want to sell or, you know, like production level software, I don't think it's there yet. I think it will be there in, in the near future, but for now, it's not there yet. And that's where VWeb is different. VWeb already had an amazing platform. Um, so instead of just rushing to bring in ai these guys waited patiently they uh, integrated ai into their existing ecosystem instead of building something brand new so if you already know already know vweb ai is going to assist you to create uh, better components better designs and all that so yeah kudos to vweb team with that said let's jump into 3.0 update so as you might have already known, 3.0 is all about, uh, I mean, a major part of it is all about AI. But before I go there, the best part I liked about this was the pricing. And when the VWeb CEO and team, they launched the 3.0 version, they were heavily focused on AI, but the comments was all about pricing. Everybody loved the new pricing, including me. I uh, really appreciate the new pricing change because earlier those of you who are new um i have two apps in vweb that are already running um, and each app at the lowest plan used to cost 49 dollars which is kind of high but my apps are profitable so i don't really care but for anyone who is starting out as an indie developer who want to test out product market fit i mean that's how the game is um uh, you got to build software, you got to ship new software, so you, you're going to test and try. For someone who tests and uh, tries new ideas, the pricing of $49 a month might be too much. All right, so the new plan, uh, these are pretty good, amazing, to be honest. Uh, if I switch to monthly here, you can see an essential seed probably costs, I guess, $20 or something. So for $20, you are able to build your app and if you want to host the app, then you get a hosting plan for, ah, my internet is uh, slow. Um, yeah, a launch plan for $12. So to build, you need a seat, all right? So those of you who are not really familiar with this new pricing, uh, there are two, two things you need. First, you need a seat to build in VWeb. You can either go for free plan. That's what I recommend when you start. Always go for the free plan. And when you're ready to launch this application out to public, you can either get an essential plan to export the code and then host it in Vercel or Netlify or whatever. I will never do that. I just want to keep things in VWeb and that's what I recommend everybody do because why take all the headaches? Because you just have to pay $12. That's exactly what you're probably going to pay for the hosting, right? So, uh, yeah, get the free plan, start building, and then when you're ready, you can get uh, either, if you're sticking with just free, you can just get a hosting, get your domain, and your app is running. Or uh, if you want to do something extra, like export the code, host it somewhere else, then go for the essential plan, export it. That's the best route, all right? So, this is massive savings, guys. This is massive savings. And... Uh, the partner plan is also improved that this is much better pricing because with partner plan with $80 a month, you can create a lot of like unlimited number of apps and they are providing a free hosting for these apps up to a thousand app sessions. 
app sessions and visitors are different app session means a person just visits your app and until they leave the app they can log in log out they can do whatever they want that is one session all right they close the app they drink a coffee come back they open the app again that's a new session so you get a thousand session that is enough for you to validate your ideas all right thousand app sessions if you're getting that hey your idea is already validated if users are logging in a thousand times come on okay so a uh, thousand app sessions i really don't know if that is a monthly limit or a total limit of thousand app session i think it is a total uh thousand app sessions but thousand app sessions is is more than enough to uh test your idea or showcase the app you build as a agency to um your client and then when you're ready you can just get a cheap hosting right okay so that's pricing huge fan this is amazing i think it's going to bring a lot of uh indie developers on to vweb even people who are not really developers uh, are going to come into vweb and uh, this pricing will definitely play a huge role in that and overall this ecosystem will grow and i'm super happy to see that and kind of be a part of it in one way or the other okay so next up is the ai so right now i'm building something for a client i'm building an auto quotes platform so in the us well everywhere you need insurance for your car so there is a quote checking website where they can enter their details and press a few buttons it will connect with insurance companies apis and return a quote that's what you see now um i designed all of this in vweb myself no ai was used no ai was hurt while making this video anyway uh bad job so if i switch to mobile view i don't really like this mobile view um i want to build something like uh, a flight booking or flight checking website where you get to see like i need to make this compact so i am going to try and test the ai uh system to to build that so i have already written my prompt everybody is a prompt engineer now so i'm not going to waste time explaining what my prompt is so uh i i am going to duplicate this um uh, section here um and actually since i already tested this i know it it will ruin the page so <laughs> that is something i don't like maybe there's a solution maybe i'm doing something wrong i'll wait for vweb to answer anyway what i did is i duplicated my real page because i don't want to screw up what i already have and then i'm going to write write in the prompt and i selected what um section i want to work on so i specifically selected quotes this is what i don't like about the ai um even if i selected quotes it kind of rebuilds the whole page what's the deal there i don't know uh maybe it's something which uh can be fixed i hope it does but i'm going to go ahead and uh send so here it's going to it, i think they're using cloud in the background so first it will under, try to understand what our uh, requirement is uh so you can either go for a custom component i don't want to do that now uh this is a standard page component um so i'm going to go for this create a standard page component for insurance quotes then we have a custom component then the design a responsive layout that works well on mobile and desktop i don't know which one to choose here to be honest um i would have loved something a little bit elaborate but okay i'll just go for the first one let's see how that uh creates the component all right so the ai has completed building these uh components and you know ai is non deterministic sometimes last time i tested this ai deleted every other section i had and created the section um which i asked for this time instead of deleting it, it they just created a new section altogether and it created what i asked for it has a card with the company brand name and monthly payments two buttons if i click on the mobile view yes that is also pretty good it looks good so let me show you why this is revolutionary for people who build using vweb right so earlier this used to take a lot of time and when you are building with other apps that are like this one click ai app builders uh after 
the AI gives you an output, there's nothing else you can do. Maybe if you know code, then go to the code and update. But with VWeb, you can literally take this component it built and make changes to it, no code. So I am going to, let's just assume, uh, I want to replace this with the new component, right? So I'll just go here, uh, maybe just unbind and I'm going to remove the current code and I'm going to drag and drop the new code and let's see, let's see the new binding. There you go. New binding is here. Now if I want to change the text, I will add the text. So now company name is being shown. What about the monthly payments? I can change this to uh, it's somewhere here monthly yeah installment amount there you go so like this you can always make changes and update your um your app you don't have to completely rely on the ai to do things for you so there you go i just completed the component design right so that's how vwebs ai will help you it's kind of like a co-pilot instead of AI doing everything if you know a little bit of VWeb then this will really accelerate the the speed at which you can build apps in VWeb all right so that is VWeb 3.0 I really love this update there are some things that are broken in VWeb for, I think they are bugs like for example if I go to workflow builder now like the whole real estate uh, available to add things are gone because this thing on the right side is sticking out it's like I don't know why uh, but if I close this then the whole thing closes um, some formula issues some problems are there with this 3 point update but I am very sure those will be fixed by VWebT because the team is amazing um, I just wanted to bring that up because I believe in completely transparent so that is my honest unfiltered review of vweb 3.0 overall an amazing update i love this um yeah speak to you in another video